Hey there, Danny Zalesko here for Dweezil Zappa, who's coming to town and opening up his first tour in many years, August the 1st, at the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix. And I, for one, can't wait. I've arranged my whole summer around August 1st, as should you. Tickets are now on sale at dzplive.com. Now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the question I got here. What's my favorite song of the albums, Roxy and Elsewhere, or Apostrophe? Well, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, obviously, is kind of a funny culmination of all things wild and crazy about Frank Zappa. That, of course, is one of my favorites. But there's, there's so many others between both records. But this was like, basically... For me, the best Frank Zappa band, the overnight sensation band uh, that featured Ruth and Ian Underwood and George Duke and the Fowler Brothers, and, and I love that band. In fact, many people don't know this unless you read my book called All Excess, Cheap Plug. I met Frank here at the Celebrity Theater when he was doing, he did Overnight Sensation at the Celebrity Theater, but he had no words and he had no vocalist. So backstage at the show, I managed to weasel downstairs. Not to weasel, but I weaseled. Somewhere in the conversation, it came up that maybe I could sing for Frank Zappa and the Mothers. Very odd. I mean, I had been a singer previously, but honestly, I can't remember how it came up. But Ruth and Ian, especially Ruth, said, let's get him an audition. Frank goes, by all means. Frank was very open to doing something like that. So he goes, meet me at Secret Sound Studios in Studio City, California. This is 1973, so I'm 18. I did go there. I had the balls to show up at Frank's recording session for Overnight Sensation. And he came out, he was expecting me, he welcomed me. Come on, pony, that's what he called me. And we were walking back to the studio and he goes, you can read music, of course, right? No, I can't read music. He stopped me right there. He goes, we're not going to even start this. He goes, I bet you're a great singer. You look like a wild dog. You'd fit right in. However, I'm not going to do your parts for you. You have to know what you're doing, when to come in, when to get out, and the rest. So I'm not hiring any more musicians that can't read music. Well, I was crushed because I spent what little money I had going to do this recording session on the one in a million shot that maybe I had it that day and I could get in the band. Well, I, I had to turn away and I lost that opportunity, but only a few years later, I was promoting Frank Zappa shows. I started promoting the next year after that, 1974. I believe it was about 1980 or 81, I started doing Frank shows. Sometime after that, of course, 95, Frank passed, sadly, Dweezil was coming of age and becoming a, an incredible guitarist and a composer in his own right. We got to start working together. So we're playing it forward. I'm looking forward to seeing Dweezil again. We've been doing shows on every tour that uh, he's done since he started, and this is going to be no different. Apostrophe and Roxy and Elsewhere will give everybody one of the biggest combinations of great music that Frank Zappa has done. I personally am looking forward to this as much as any fan.